Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh my God, dude. Holy. It is 7 a.m. right now. I'm here, uh, here with my buddy CJ, and we're gonna do we're gonna do a little fishing in the next two days. We're gonna meet my buddy Wittick. We're gonna meet up with him, and then we're gonna go hit the river. We're trying to catch some big fish. That's the goal for this weekend. CJ is like the master of small stream streamer fishing and just streamer fishing in general. So I'm really excited. We're gonna be doing some bug fishing, some streamer fishing, and it's just gonna be a good good old time. So we're gonna head out of here, meet Wittick, and then we're gonna hit the river. Yo, what's up, brother? Hey, dude. See ya. What's on the menu today? What are we thinking? I'm gonna focus on some of the, the, the nicer looking, deeper plunge holes and try to just drop streamers in as deep as I can pretty quickly and then try to make something happen. We just got all rigged up, going down to a spot we're gonna put in. Woody and I are gonna be fishing a dry drop, at least to start out and then CJ's gonna have the streamer rod. Every time we fish, so we always struggle to find big fish, but that's okay. That's just, that's just part of filming. You never, you never get everything on film, but I've got high hopes. I think it, at the very least, it's just gonna be a beautiful two days here fishing. So let's see what we can find. Oh my God. First cast, dude. Did he come from that rock? Something to need a streamer today. So see that right there. So I'm gonna get above it a little bit. And if you position like right there, I'm gonna skate it across the top a bunch. And that's where I saw that big one. That was one right there, damn it. Come on, come back after it. Come on, come eat it. One swipe.
All right, fishing started to turn on. That lasts a little bit with that, kind of that front moving in. So we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna come back out, maybe, uh, maybe try somewhere else and uh, see what else we can get into today. All right, so we just had some lunch and uh, we're back out. We're actually, gonna, we're actually gonna check out a new stream. So we're just hiking in a little bit. It's about like a 30 minute hike. It's supposed to rain. There's like 100% chance of rain starting in like literally any minute. So uh, we got the rain jackets on just in case it starts dumping on us. But with this front moving in, honestly, we're thinking this could be really good uh, for the fishing. <laughs> What we got here? Uh, Tommy Lynch is drunk and disorderly, tied by Tommy himself. Well, it's got this next spot, a little bigger water. Um, I'm gonna fo focus on trying to just get uh, a predator to eat. Uh, that's the goal. So I'm using a little bit bigger stuff. Um, got a little bit heavier sinking line. Hopefully we can get a good predator to eat something big. CJ's hooked up. Yeah, it's so slippery. Smallmouth? Dude! <laughs> that was quick. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Holy Hell. Dude, tell me about it. What happened? There was a soft spot up there, and I was trying to get my streamer just really in the soft spot all it was, and then just strip it down river. It was it didn't do anything special there. He he did all the work. So, Dude, uh, he's hammered it though. Pre predators is what we're after. Yeah, I'll take that all day. Woo. <laughs> that was cool. I just watched him that whole time. Woo! Oh, you see that other one right there? Oh, appreciate it. <laughs> That's sick. Dude, that was so cool. I watched him follow it up and then I felt the eat. I probably trout set. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Damn. So there's a roller right there. Yeah, 18. 18. <laughs> that was awesome. I appreciate that. That was fun. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh my God, dude. Holy sh Oh my, it's a carp? <laughs> Holy sh dude. Just smacked the carp in the face with the streamer. That thing hit so hard. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was about to take the rod on my hand. Oh my God, dude, look at that. That's hilarious. I don't know. Freaking carp on a streamer, guys. Are you kidding me? This looks like something that we were just fishing right there. You see it? What do you think? Keep going or? Yeah. As you can see, the, the rain has moved in on us. It's coming. I think that was one.
All right, so uh, we're gonna call it now. We had honestly a pretty successful hour, two hours out here. This is a new piece of water that we've been kind of looking at and thought, you know what? Let's go check it out while we're out here. And uh, we got to do a bunch of big smallies, which is so sick. But we're, uh, we're just gonna head back, hike back on the trail, get back to, uh, to our cabin for the night and then get after it tomorrow. All right, day two now. We've got the boat here, all ready to go. We're just getting everything packed up out of our cabin, loaded in the car, and then we're gonna head out. And we got a bunch of rain yesterday and last night, so the water's definitely gonna be up. We're gonna go check out this first spot and see if it's not too muddy, because it's okay if the water came up, but if it's if it's too, too muddy, we might wanna, wanna think about a, a different option. Looks like Nick's getting a little, a little antsy. Dude, I just had a brookie eat right here. No way. I'm not, I'm not kidding. We ate the chub. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the upper part. It almost looks worse up here. That looks great down there. None of this is posted. There you go, straight back from there. It's definitely dirty, but I mean, we can fish it. All right, so we had to make a little audible. Uh, pretty much where we were gonna float today, uh, the river was completely blown out, completely muddy. Uh, there was, there's no point in us in us floating that today. So we made a quick change, found the stream that touches that, and uh, it's a little bit clearer. There's definitely still some tint to it, which is okay. But yeah, we're gonna, you know, this is the clearest river that we've found so far today. So it's, it's gonna be the best that we can really do. Oh, well, it was either, it was something. Let's keep moving up, I guess. Let's go. <laughs> it's a stock one. Yeah. yeah. The edge of this boulder to the right. There he is. Yep. Oh, come here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not too excited. Fish. Yep. Good brown. Good brown. I need a net, dude. Woo. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. That's a pretty fish. Audible. Audible. <laughs> I love it. Got it on the upstream approach. You know, I fished it, bring it downstream a few times. And then, like I've talked about a bunch, go upstream a little bit and kind of hold the streamer in the line or in the fishiest part of the run. And sometimes we'll come up and eat it. So that's what happened.
Big fish. Oh, not a big fish at all. I thought it was a giant. Today's actually turned out to be pretty good. We found a bunch of wild browns that we uh, didn't really know we're gonna be in here, so that's always fun. And I think something that uh, we've been talking about a bunch today and this whole weekend, and something that CJ's always taught me is it's just important to be versatile with the techniques that you use. Whether it's streamer fishing, nymphing, drive fly fishing, euro nymphing, being versatile and being able to apply those to certain situations is really important because there's been a lot of holes today that we fished and actually pulled fish or moved fish with the streamer that you couldn't otherwise fish with a nymph rig. Wittix on, oh gosh. Woo, let's go. Of those ones where I thought it was a rock, oh, and I was oh, like, yeah. doo -doo. That's a big wild right? Not bad, kind of chunky. I think there's something in the stomach. Don't look at me. Oh it's my god, holy, sh that's cool! That is cool as hell. Yeah, that's why we first raised this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, looks like he was a little hungry today and got ate a little rainbow. He gone, sorry. <laughs> nice day. That's cool. All right. That was cool. All right, we just got off the river, so I'm heading back to town now. Big shout out to CJ for making this whole weekend happen, and uh, shout out to Nick for coming up and joining us. It was a ton of fun. Uh, it was not the trip we expected. Obviously, we got thrown a bunch of rain one night, and that really messed up the water levels and the flows, so we didn't get to float, unfortunately. But today was kind of a true blue line experience. We just literally found a blue line, a stream that was dumping into another stream and we said let's go check it out and we ended up finding a bunch of fish so that's always rewarding but i'm heading back to town now so i think that's going to do it for us uh for you guys who've been watching you know that we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year so if you watch our videos and uh you like what we're doing you want to support us the easiest way to do that is subscribe make sure you guys are getting outside make sure you guys are fishing it's beautiful out right now it's the best time of year to fish and that's going to do it for us. Um, we'll see you guys later.